Hi, I'm Greg Krause. I'm a neurologist in the Department of Neurology at Johns Hopkins Hospital. I want to tell you about a new treatment uh, for uh, acute seizures that uh, we recently uh, uh, reviewed in a study. Um, I'm an epilepsy specialist, and about a quarter of the patients that we see who have uh, recurring seizures, which is defined as epilepsy, have problems with prolonged or repetitive seizures. When they have seizures, occasionally the seizure lasts longer than five minutes, or they may have more than two or three seizures in a 24-hour period. These seizures often require trips to the ER, and we found that if we provide rescue medicines, patients can often have successful treatment at home and not have to go to the emergency room. So we did a study in 52 patients where we repurposed a drug called lorazepam in tensol um, and had family members give the drug through a medicine dropper in the side of the mouth when people were having prolonged seizures or repetitive seizures. And we found that this was very effective in, in interrupting seizures. So of our 52 patients, two thirds, their seizures stopped very rapidly when they received this sublingual or, or side of the mouth uh, drop, drops of medicine. So, uh, the majority of patients did very well with this treatment, and the treatment results were very comparable to a couple of marketed drugs that are given through uh, nasal routes or through a rectal administration. The advantage of the lorazepam in tensol is that it costs less than $1 a dose, where the marketed drugs, the nasal and the rectal, are often $350 a dose. So there's considerable cost savings with the lorazepam in tensol. The only disadvantage of the lorazepam and tensol is that it has to be refrigerated. So when people are leaving their home or traveling, what we recommend is they just get a very small uh, mini cooler that has uh, a cooled uh, a, a bottom, and that can allow refrigeration and people to transport the drug. When people receive the drug, lorazepam is slightly sedating. All these benzodiazepines used for acute rescue treatment are sedating. The sedation though with lorazepam and tensol was very modest and was never severe. And so it was much better to receive the treatment than not in order to interrupt seizures. So our study showed that this lorazepam and tensol can be uh, conveniently given by caregivers and used to interrupt uh, prolonged or repetitive seizures and may help patients remain uh, at home during seizure clusters uh, and may help them when they're traveling or away from medical care, uh, protect them from seizures. Thanks very much.